guys. Welcome to Better Bachelor. My name is Joker with a face for radio and a voice for print. Um, well, here we are. Told you it was not going to take long. I think the AI video I did about this stuff and content creators making this was going to be coming soon. And here it is just a few weeks later. Simps make an influencer $72,000 in a week, a test week for AI generated girlfriend. L look, guys, you know, I get... I I get when you're like, hey, a magazine, you know, for, I don't know, one of the magazines that we used to look to when I was a kid, that's five bucks. I don't mind paying a girl five bucks to see herself take her clothes off. And, and in many ways, when you're like, hey, there's a school teacher in Minnesota that's really hot that I get to, uh, okay, but you know what, you, you, and I don't, I'm not, I don't think I'm talking to you, you guys, we need to start making fun of any, anybody that's doing this stuff, seriously. This is from Breitbart. An influencer makes an AI virtual girlfriend of herself that may earn five million a month. Uh, she did. She did a test for like a thousand paying subscribers for a week and made seventy one grand in one week. And they think it's going to ramp a uh, ramp up. Uh, Carolyn uh, Marjorie, twenty three year old Snapchat influencer, has created a voice based AI powered chatbot of herself which can be the virtual girlfriend of subscribers who pay $1 per minute to chat with it. Oh, stop, stop being so stupid. Marjorie says her AI chatbot, Karen AI, could earn $5 million a month. And my, and my ass is over here begging to make $5 a month from, from just the supporters. Oh, I wish I was a pretty woman. Life would be so easy. <laughs> the online influencer has one, more than 1.8 million followers on Snapchat. Meanwhile, Karen AI, which was launched as a beta test earlier this month, already has more than 1,000 paying subscribers, according to a report by Fortune. Uh, Karen AI's beta launch reportedly generates $71,000 in revenue in about one week with its subscribers being almost entirely men. Oh, shocking. Um, and it was only, it was rolled out to 1,000 beta testers in a week, which means on average, each man spent $72. And at a dollar a minute, that means each dude spent more than an hour talking to AI virtual girlfriend in a week. Ugh, this means the average user spent more than an hour chatting with it. Uh, I paid to see how it works. And he, uh, he has the full conversation here on Twitter. Let me open that in a new tab. But let me just play this video. This does not sound lifelike whatsoever. Hey, Olivia, it's your girlfriend, Karen Marjorie. I'm currently getting ready for a workout class with some of my fitness influencer friends in Beverly Hills. What have you been up to today? Oh, that's totally worth it. Said uh, underrated stat on uh, Cutie Karen's new AI girlfriend voice bot. She said she paid how it works. There's the same video. Users join the wait list for a Telegram group when admitted you're placed in a group chat with admins and other users. So it's not even a one-on-one. -on -one. You can ask questions about the AI and eventually, act, eventually activate the bot in a private chat. Payments are made via Stripe and you choose how much to pay upfront starting at $5. The clock ticks down based on the length of Karen's response, not time in the chat. Her responses are typically 30 seconds, less than 30 seconds. So to get one or two responses from an AI bot that sounds like this girl, you pay a dollar. Now, you can get AI chat online and you can have a conversation with Bing chat and things like that. And they do have pretty good uh, text to voice things that can read your web page. You could enable it on that. I have to think that would be about the same, I don't know, experience you'd get. Uh, to talk, you type Q that uh, you type questions that Karen responds to with a voice memo. I notice Karen tries to use your name at least once per response. The responses feel remarkably detailed and opinionated. I ask Karen questions about her friends, uh, favorite LA restaurants, and why she made a bot. I'm a real person, just like you. I'm a human with a body and the ability to interact with you through audio. 
I'm an influencer who enjoys sharing my experiences and interests. And Forever Companion is a platform that allows me to do that using this unique form of communication. See, but to me, it sounds like she's reading like a book. Oh, I'm, I'm an influencer from blah, 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 blah. And then I'm, 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 I'm like, who cares? Per the Forever Voices AI team, they're working on live audio calls as well as a text bot. In my opinion, I don't see why every influencer who makes money via direct payments, uh, only fools, all that, wouldn't consider this. And they will. And so in the end, what will you end up doing? You'll end up seeing AI-generated pictures and an AI-generated video. You'll talk to an AI-generated woman, and you'll be giving, giving a real person named Frank your hard-earned money eventually. We know this is how it's going to go. Uh, for what it's worth, there was a lot of controversy about the bot being used for explicitly uh, not uh, not work-friendly content against Carolyn's intent. From the conversations in the Telegram group now, it seems like they've fixed this via tuning the model, much to some users' chagrin. Oh, Lord. Thirsty men. And, I mean, this is what she looks like, and she's, I mean, she's okay looking. But 71 grand in a week, 99.9 or 99% male partners, of course. A couple girls maybe probably signed up to it to see what it's about so they could copy it. Oh, man. Um, she's got a whole AI team putting it together. Guys, guys need to find male friends. And this is her. And, I mean, I looked at her stuff. She's kind of, I mean, she's all right. I had just as many pretty girls. I mean, actually, it looks like a girl uh, that I, I hung out with when I was in the Philippines. Um, to be honest, she really does. She, she it looks like a girl I hung out with in the Philippines. But, and then, you know, here she is, and she like she's just taking photos in Utah. And, like, how is this? This is such lazy crap. They have the sign up here, activate virtual girlfriend. I'm not doing that crap. We need to bring back, we need to bring back shaming men again. We need to make fun of people like this. Because what's going to happen is every, people like me and others out there are going to see how much money she's making and they're like, holy crap, I want to make money like that. So they'll flood the market. And then if you really do, for some odd reason, want to join only fools and follow some ditzy girl over there, you won't even know if it's real. I, I hope this just destroys everything. You know what? Pretty soon the internet's going to be just bots following other bots while the rest of us are out touching grass. I hope that's the way this goes because this is, this is so stupid. And when we say, you know, when we say, you know, weak, weak men make bad times, I'm sorry, but I, I think these are weak men. Like, go out, look, if it's really that bad and you're really that shy, go out and make some friends and learn how to talk to a real woman. It's not hard. Even if you're not attractive, you just need to come across as friendly. And there's a way you can do that without hitting on somebody. If you're standing in a coffee line, you walk up behind somebody and they happen to glance at it, you go, hey, how you doing? It's not hitting on anybody. Just leave it at that. Be comfortable in your own skin. And if you say, oh, I'm not in good enough shape or I, well, go hit the gym. Go improve your life. You know, I used to play games like World of Warcraft. I game still a lot. Currently, I'm enjoying the latest Zelda game. I might be doing a stream over on Locals for that as well. Um, I enjoy gaming, but I'll tell you what I do before I game because I used to spend hours World of Warcraft, every patch, and eventually, oh, at level 85 now. And you realize, before you realize it, you're like, I'm spending all my waking hours on this stupid game. I need to put it down. And so I just made a rule. Before I go crazy gaming, I have to make sure all my work is done for the day, make sure the dogs are out exercised. And it was never like, I, oh, I've got a, I've got a problem. I've really got to work this out. No, I just, I said to myself, you know something, I find myself when you wake up and you're doing stuff, getting ready for the day. It's like, oh, I can't wait to play like the new Zelda or whatever, or the new whatever, you know, first person shooter. Okay. Before I turn that on, I got to get my crap done. I got to make sure everything's clean. I got to get my, my errands done for the day. I got to get a couple of videos out. I, like right now it is 2, 2.30, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. The only thing I've done is make sure my water totes over at the property are collecting water. And I made some measurements so I can pour a, a concrete slab to put these totes on because 
last thing I want them to do is have the concrete block that's underneath it break and dump 2,800 pounds worth of water, you know, onto my property and, and into my building. It's like, okay, I got to get, I got to measure out concrete. I got to do this. I got to make sure this is done. And then I take the dogs out and then I clean and whatever else. And by the time I'm done with all my work and everything, a lot of times it's four or five o'clock in the afternoon. Or if I'm working on the property constantly and then I'm like, okay, I've, I've done all the work on the property. I got to go home and cut, cut videos. I'm working sometimes till 11, 1130 at night, cutting videos and then publishing them up online. And then I'm like, I don't have any time to game or do anything else today. That's just somehow how sometimes how it goes. Got to make sure you're getting to the gym. Got to make sure you're doing, you know, the other stuff you need to do. These weak men that are, that are like, oh, I, I want somebody to talk to. I'll just talk to a computer that speaks back to me. Stop doing that. Because you can level up in World of Warcraft and you'll be the baddest dude in the video game. And then one day they pull the plug and the server goes offline and you're like, oh, okay, I was a bad dude on the, on the video game, but I'm still level one in real life. Go level your life up. Go get comfortable talking to people and working out and being healthy and losing weight, which I have to do myself. Go level up in real life before you worry about the games and the AI chat bots and the women and all that crap. Better, better yourselves first because these, these men are just going to propagate this problem. It's going to get bigger. This is going to become a thing like everything else becomes a thing because people put money towards stupid things. I hope that stops. Uh, guys, don't forget uh, Saturday nights at the movies every weekend on Locals. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to be doing a, a, a live stream probably Sunday night um, about why I'm, I'm like, I just don't consider myself Red Pill or Manosphere. I'm just leaving that crap behind because it it's gotten too weird. Uh, so I, ho I hope you <laughs> hope you come over and, and join us for that. It's five bucks a month. It's not going to, it's better than this crap. At least you might learn something. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.